In this video we're going to be diagnosing and repairing a voltage above normal fault on a 966H loader. So a quick background story on this loader, the sensor that controls the automatic leveling of the bucket has stopped working and has come up with a voltage above normal fault. So I've started working at the sensor on the link itself because it's the easiest to get to and usually a source of the problem for, for this type of fault. So we've pulled our plug apart at the sensor and we're just going to be checking to see what voltage we get here. We should get a constant uh, supply voltage of 27 volts which we have zero there at the moment and our sensor volt with a plug off should read 5 volts and we're getting a tiny signal not much through there it's not really reading anything so we've lost our supply voltage and our sensor voltage so further back at the harness in front of the cab there's another Deutsch plug that we can pull apart where it runs down the boom of the loader to the sensor so the reason why it thinks it's got a voltage above normal fault or FMI3 is because the 5 volts going to the sensor is not being reduced so it's not hooked up to anything so it thinks there's either break in the harness or the plug's been pulled off. Now there's three wires going to this sensor a supply on A, a ground on B and a signal voltage on C. So we're getting a signal voltage here now I've got those probes in nice and tight and we're getting 27 volts so that's interesting to have 27 volts there at the plug but not at the other end kind of looks like there might be a break in the harness from this plug down to the sensor so let's check our signal voltage now and we still have nothing so we've got a problem in our harness beyond this plug so I went to make up a harness so I could plug into the cab and then back to the plug down to the boom and I went and checked it one more time and I'd lost my supply voltage as well. So I thought I'm going to pull this plug apart and see if there's anything funny going on inside which there wasn't. I still didn't have any voltage supply or signal. Now because I had supply voltage there to start with and then lost it made me think that there might be a break in the wire just behind the plug and I chased it about 200 mil and then finally I was able to find some supply and signal voltage here so we have our 27.9 volt supply voltage so that's good and we also have 5 volt supply voltage so I've got good wires now and I have removed the break in the harness so I'm going to crimp some pins to the wires and we're going to put our Deutsch plug back here. I pulled the plug out of the lift position sensor as well and that fault came up so I'm just putting that plug back in there. And I've installed the Deutsch plug onto where we were working. I just want to check that our ECM is able to detect a FMI3 and a 4 which is voltage below normal and that's achieved by uh, earthing the voltage signal to the ground wire which I'm going to do with this bridging little bridging wire made up with two Deutsch pins crimped to it and that should bring us up a FMI4 on the control link which it has so, so we know that our ECM is going to be working properly you can sense both high and low voltage faults so we're back, we've hooked everything back up, we're back at our sensor and we're just checking to see that we have supply voltage. Doing it the same way, we've got our 27.9 volts there, perfect. And then we need to check if we've got our supply voltage, uh, our signal voltage rather, 5 volts there. So we know all that's working and we can hook our sensor back up then we should go into the cab and all our faults should be gone and they are so now that's all sorted and our self leveling bucket is working again if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions leave them in the comment section